Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you the best quick masking tricks in the universe because everybody likes a good quick mask. Let's get started. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. Also, of course, my next weekly challenge is coming up. You should absolutely join that because this is the best way to learn Affinity Photo and get reviews from me in my live stream, which is also coming Coming up, join that. We're gonna have some fun. I'm going to do some creative editing and I'm going to review your work on the 20th of March, 8 p.m. CET. Also, next time, I'm going to show you the best tricks for the freehand selection tool or lasso tool, as it's also known. Let's get started with the tutorial. And the first thing we are seeing here is that we have very similar values here a lot of beige colors, a lot of skin tones, and we want to select the hand here in the front. So the way I want to start this is by using the selection brush tool up here. By the way, I have a new trick up my sleeve, which is this little zoom a rectangle here. So let me know in the comments if you like that, if that is helpful. So select that selection brush. And then the next important thing when you want to use this in combination with a quick mask is to go up here where it says soft edges. Now what that does is when you in initially paint on the selection with this brush, it creates a pixel perfect selection, which means you get a very rough toothy edge that doesn't look good. Now soft edge is anti-aliasing that edge to make it softer, to feather it a little bit and just make it a lot smoother. So you want to turn that on. That is pretty important if you want to switch over to the quick mask afterwards. Of course, also make sure you are in the add mode. This is also important instead of the subtract mode, because otherwise you're going to select or have an inverted selection. So that's not great. Okay, let's go down here. And I have the first super trick for you, the secret sauce, and that is changing your selection brush size. For that, hold on your keyboard, the control and alt key at the same time, then click your left mouse button and hold that too, and move your mouse left to right. And you can see that this is changing the size of my brush. And just like that, I can work very quickly here and make my basic first selection. Up here we have selected a little bit too much. So let's go to subtract here. And you can see we kind of have a selection that is pretty good to start off. Now, what you do not want to do at that point, don't do that, is to click on refine because this will happen. See, Affinity Photo is thinking about the process again, but because there are so many similar values here, what we are ending up with is this. You have all these kind of fading areas here that are part of your selection, not great. Now, there is a kind of a quick fix to do that because you have here this kind of border with slider. And when you're using that, you can see that you get a very slim border around your hand and Affinity Photo is rethinking that and actually making a much better selection in a very quick way. But what you can still see here is that we have these areas that are still not so great for what we actually want to do here. So I will cancel this. We have our selection again and we want to go into our quick mask mode. Now there is this button up here that you can click, but as you can also see, you can simply use Q and that is actually a better choice because Q allows you to toggle between quick mask and seeing the selection. And this is very helpful because when you zoom in here, you can simply see what is in the background, what you want to include in your selection or not include. Now here's another thing that is very important for this mode. One is a little bit of a downside and that is you can't change the red color. So if you're selecting something that's already red, kind of hard to see, but what you can do is up here in that area, you can click on that and there is three other additional modes. One is black, the other one is white, and then one that I found very useful is transparent. And this will show you a preview of your selection with a checkerboard background. Now, 
there is a very huge benefit for that because you can see here when you look at this you can see that the selection actually is good but we still have this kind of dark edge here around the hand and you might want to remove that i will show you a trick on how to quickly do that in a second now what we want to do next is to go back to overlay and you want to paint on that mask here with your brush so of course you want to select your brush tool over here you can see simply the paint brush is good enough for that and then go back here and again you can use your control and alt key and then hold the mouse the left mouse button down move your mouse left to right this is resizing the brush move your mouse up and down this is making your brush harder or softer and just like that you can very quickly paint the mask in now Here's the next super trick, the next secret sauce. And that is, of course, you want to change between painting the mask and removing the mask. So this usually is done between black and white as colors. And you can click over here to do that. But what you can also do, which is much quicker, is on your keyboard, press and hold shift and then press X also on top of that. And you can see this is switching the color. When you look here, I can switch the color black and white back and forward so that is very very useful so we can go here and you can see i can simply paint on that to fix that ring over here like so and then we can go to other areas down here and here are two additional very cool tricks one is when you press down the mouse wheel you can move your canvas around and the other one is when you hold control and rotate your mouse wheel you can zoom in and out and as you can see with these tricks i can very very quickly work on my selection and improve that and fix all these kind of areas move around very quickly to see what do i want to hide what do i want to show so that is a very very good way to work with masks finally i told you that i have a very quick way to fix these darker edges here. And this I actually do on the mask. So what we want to do here is to make our selection, let's press Q again so we see our dancing ants over here. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm creating a mask, but I'm leaving the dancing ants and I'm going up here to select, to grow and shrink. As you can see, you can also use Control B to open up the grow and shrink settings and when you do that you get this window here and you can use this lever here to move it around but i would actually suggest to mouse over this area not click into that area but mouse over that area and use your mouse wheel and it goes in one pixel steps smaller and bigger so you can see here i can move inside of my selection so minus one pixel in this case is okay and then what you want to do here is to go again up here to select invert pixel selection and with that you can see that i can paint on the outside of my selection with black as a color that's pretty important to remove these areas so i can softly paint on each of the areas where i feel that this is necessary and just leave out the other areas where I don't want to do that. You can see here, we also have a dark edge. So let's paint along this with a soft brush. That's pretty important. You can see, I'm not gonna do that here on the ring. And now when I deselect, you can actually see that that brighter area here is gone from the hand. So this is a very quick way to fix that. And of course, last but not least, you want to mask this to your image. So right click, mask to below and just like that with very simple tools you can create a very nice selection thank you very much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed that video and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more i have over 400 tutorials on my channel thank you very much and see you soon bye